In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use SPSS to calculate a two-way ANOVA. This video is part of a playlist on two-way ANOVA or factorial analysis. The playlist includes introductory ideas as well as how to calculate ANOVA, two-way ANOVA with SPSS and Microsoft Excel. In fact, this video is about how to calculate it with SPSS. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up the data in SPSSS and how to set up the dependent variable and factors. I'm also going to show you how to interpret the results from the table that's generated from SPSSS. And I'm going to also walk you through setting up the hypothesis because you always have to set up a hypothesis, or you should. So the problem begins like this. I've given a math test to different boys and girls of different age groups, 10-year-olds, 11-year-olds, and 12-year-olds. And the test scores are right there in the middle. And I want to know, is it gender that is causing the variation in scores, or is it age group that's causing the variation in scores? Or potentially, is it a combination of gender and age group? So I have two factors gender, and age. Before I bounce over to SPSS, i got to tell you about the hypothesis, and then I'll get to SPSS. S. Always leave off an S. So we establish a hypothesis. The first one is, gender will have no significant effect on student score. The second hypothesis, age will have no significant effect on student score. The third hypothesis, gender and age interaction, will have no significant effect on student score. Before I start rapid fire clicking in SPSS, let me tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on Analyze, then General, General Linear Model, and then Univariate. Then I'm going to click and add my dependent variables, which is score. and then my factors, or my independent variables, gender and age group. So now let me move over to SPSSS. I've already input my data into SPSS, and my first column is gender, and you can organize this any way you like. The second column is score, and the last column is age group. And again, you can organize this in any sequence that you like. Now I'm going to click on Variable View at the bottom of the window. I've already set the decimals to zero, zero decimals, and you can change that to any level you like. The default's like, the, I think, two. So they're all set to zero. And I've changed the name from gender to score to age group for my column headings. Let me go back to my data view. Click on that right at the bottom, right there. Now I click on Analyze at the top. Go down to General Linear Models, across, oops, across to Univariate, click. Now I'm going to add my dependent variable and fixed factors. Now I click on Score and click that little blue arrow for my dependent variable, which is Score. Now I click on Gender and Age Group, which are my fixed factors. I'm going to click on model in a second, but my dependent variable is score. My fixed factors are gender and age group. Now I click on model, and another window pops up. Make sure that type 3 is set for summer squares. There's other model settings, but just use the default, which is type 3 for now. And click continue. Now click OK and say bada bing. You ought to say it when you use SPSS. And here's your results right here. Doing that by hand would have taken like an hour. So that's what you need to say about it being. Anyway, now I'm going to jump over and I'm going to talk about how to interpret all these different results that come out in the table. The only columns you're concerned with are the F column, which is F score or F ratio, and the significance level, which is your P value. So the first thing I want to discuss is gender, which is your first factor. 
So the first factor is gender. And the p-value is equal to 0 0.035. And of course, that's less than 0 0.05, which is our level of test. We want to be less than 0 0.05 for 95% confidence level. So we would reject the null hypothesis for the first factor, which is gender. And I'll go through the, the hypothesis one at a time at the end as well. There is a 3.5% chance of getting results by random chance. That's what this is telling me, which is good. The second factor I want to examine is age group. Its p-value is equal to 0 0.006. So p is equal to 0 0.006. It is also less than 0 0.05. So we're going to reject the null hypothesis that goes with age group. And again, I'll discuss those in just a minute. Hang in there. There is a 0.6% chance of getting results by random chance. I made that point really big because I want to make a point. Anyway, so the next factor I want to discuss is the combination of the two, gender and age group. So the interaction of gender and age group, the p-value is equal to 0.556, which is not very good. That's not good. p is equal to 0.556, which of course is greater than 0 0.05. So in this case, we would fail to reject the null hypothesis in this case. So let me go back to my hypothesis. Sees. And the first one is gender will have no significant effect on student score. That is rejected. And you may even want to write the alternative hypothesis, which is gender does have a significant effect on student score. The second null hypothesis is age will have no significant effect on student score, and that also is rejected. And you may want to write out a null hypothesis, which is age has a significant effect on student score. And finally, the last hypothesis, which is gender and age interaction will have no significant effect on student score, and we failed to reject this null hypothesis. So in this tutorial, I walked you through step-by-step how to use SPSSS. As you can tell, I'm making a conscious effort not to skip a S. And as always, share the knowledge, share the love. Facebook, Google+, Twitter. Questions, comments below. There's a playlist link below as well. I put that in there for you. And also a link to the playlist on hypothesis testing. So don't forget to subscribe and like us on Facebook. And that's it. The tutorial's over. So why are you hanging around? I mean, don't you have something else to do? You need to leave. Find something else to do.